Alrighty, so welcome back everyone to the Banyan Tree. It has been a little bit of a while. Where have I been, right? This is going to be a catch-up video. I'm going to catch you up on what I've been doing and kind of set the stage for what I'm going to be doing on YouTube. Planning to come back two weeks ago or something and make a video and resume all the things I said I was going to talk about. And then a lot of unexpected unhappy surprises came into my life and uh, it's interesting how anytime you get ready to do something it seems like there's opposition but I think that's a positive sign that you're doing something in the right direction um, as a Christian so anywho since we last saw each other so there was this Jamie George concert I was really excited about that for those of you that don't know Jamie George I don't know what you're doing with your life I definitely don't know what you're doing with your ears I will leave um, links to Jamie George's music in the description box, and uh, he's a violinist, um, really good. I I don't want to say I'm a fan, but like I really really like him and appreciate him and his ministry. And I had I had requested of the pastor that knew him he could play my favorite hymn uh, that he plays, and that's my Savior first of all. And so he comes. Um, I meet him. It was super exciting. Um, I'll put like videos up here in the giant space of ceiling. The one consistent thing on this YouTube channel, the giant space of ceiling. I met him. That was awesome. The concert itself was awesome. He played my hymn. I cried. And finally, at the end of the night, I was like, listen, so I got to talk to you. <laughs> And he was like, oh, great, perfect, because I need you to do, a fa do me a favor then. And he needed me to record him playing a, like a happy birthday hymn for someone that had asked for an elderly lady. And he hadn't been able to do it because he hadn't um, found someone to record him. And so I was like, perfect. And so I'll put a picture up here. And so basically, I had him all to myself in a church playing more hymns and stuff and just right in front of me. And it was like, this is so great. <laughs> and then... Um, we sat aside and talked and he listened to me and it was really amazing. It was one of those one-on-one -on -one moments that I, it was just such a blessing because God really showed up to comfort me. And this weekend I went to a spiritual retreat and I, um, it was definitely a successful trip. It was awesome. I love the retreat. I will leave a link to that in the description box if you want to watch it. It's um, an Amazing Facts Youth Retreat. Um, I flew down there. I had planned it for months. And I had this car rental already paid for and lined up and everything for me to get around for the weekend. And I was, and the car rental falls through like last minute because I paid with a debit card. Um, don't pay with a debit card. Okay. They want a credit card. Otherwise they're going to make your life really miserable. And so I had to get a taxi and figure out how I was going to get to the meetings the whole weekend. It was, um, to say the least frustrating and I was getting rides but I didn't want to like where I was staying there's a lot of people that were going so I was blessed I had a lot of shenanigans I met a lot of people but I was stressed I didn't want to be na um, hunting people down to get a ride like this was not the plan um, you know I wanted to be a bit more independent and uh, I only got one uber in the whole like three days of meetings that I was there there was a lot of meetings so the Lord really provided rides and that one Uber, I was just exhausted. I was like, how am I going to make it to the rest? It was like the middle of the trip. And I was just like, with everything that I'd been going through, and then I'm coming here and I want to just enjoy the weekend. This is a Jesus thing. It's not even a me thing. And it's like, God, why is this so hard? Like, I was just exhausted. And I got a Christian Uber. So He actually started encouraging me. And he was like, you know, you know, everything happens for a reason. In a few days, you'll understand why this had to happen. And, you know, he started encouraging me about the sacrifice of praise, which is already something that I've been so pressed about before he even, like, he didn't know. I didn't tell him anything. And I was just like, wow, that's such a God thing. Because um, God had already been speaking that into my life for so long. So he was right. Um, it, it definitely did eventually start making sense. Um, I got a ride that night with a group of other people. And I just ended up having a divine appointment by the end of it. And it just all made sense. And so, you know, the Lord's plans are better than ours, but I was able to attend the entire meetings. Like God just provided, put people in my path. It was awesome. I just loved it. Um, 
I have a friend, Gabriel Radu, which is probably watching, and he loves to collect. Um, <laughs> this is one of my great, this is one of the high moments of this trip for me. <laughs> he loves to collect, uh, to collect, um, Seventh-day Adventist pastors pictures and their like information like their name where they serve at and their favorite Bible verse like it's a big thing for him and so I was able to get him um not one not two not three well it might have been three no I think it was four pastors I don't know but I got him a bunch of pastors and one of them was Doug Batchelor now this guy <laughs> I got him a video of Doug Batchelor uh, saying hi to him and encouraging him by name, like calling him by his name. And he's like, it wasn't enough for this brother. He's like, he's like, um, uh, can you get his, his favorite Bible verse and can you get a picture and this and that? And I was like, okay, well, that was a humbling moment. <laughs> it's like, no, this brother wants what he wants. No, but I did. And then he was really happy. And I was so excited to be able to get that for him because it was like such a cool thing for him. And I knew, so it was like... It was cool. So many blessings, but I just wanted to catch up and kind of let y'all know. I have definitely been going through it. It has been a lot going on, um, but God is good. So I wanted to let y'all know what's been going on. Um, I've also had some health issues, which, whoo, man. It's like, like I said, it's good news. If you're getting so much opposition, it means that you're seen as a threat. That Satan sees you as a threat. So I'll leave you to Jamie George and or Amazing Facts um, youth retreat footage and or Maverick footage and or all of the things. All right. Happy to be back, y'all. I missed you. Um, yeah, so that'd be me. Big B right there. So glad I'm behind the glass. <laughs>